Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today we're looking at the internals of a Mega Magnus. Um, I've not made an internal video in a long time and I, today I got the opportunity. Somebody dropped this off for repair at my house and I figured let's just open it up and look at the internals. So I must say this is a very comfortable grip on this blaster. Short review on this and um, just if I fire it, it's got, I can feel it's got a lot of power to it. Alright, so shall we open it up and look at the internals of it? Okay, here we go. So let's just get some zoom here um, so we can actually see what is going on. Okay, so here we go. Um, as I suspected, this thing has got a massive plunger tube. Um, so obviously lots of power. Um, you can see it's got an internal magazine here. I haven't checked, but it doesn't look like it can take much more than three uh, mega dots. It's very much the similar design as the um, that Fortnite blast. Uh, what's it called again? Um, oh, I can't remember, but the yellow one that I reviewed on my channel a while back. So you can obviously fit a magazine in here as well. Uh, you see that very similar design as that uh, Fortnite blaster. Um, yeah, let me just get it. Okay, so you can see um, it's basically a very, very similar design as this Fortnite uh, blaster, um, and which means that you can do the same mod as what I did on the Fortnite blaster to this Mega. You can give it a nice bigger magazine if you want it. Um, all right, so back to the Mega. Uh, okay, so nice big plunger. Uh, let's just oh, let's take this thing out. Oh, you can see here, this thing has got a massive, massive spring um, that goes into the plunger tube. Um, okay. this seems to be sealed up I don't seem to be able to take this apart you can see the plunger um, well do you call it the plunger rod there's not much of a rod there but there is a, a plunger head in there um, obviously you've got uh, in, inside it you've got the um, ARs and the dart post um, so you can take, wonder if you will be able to take that out I mean uh, this is solvent welded you're not going to be able to do that very easily. Okay, let's see what else is in this blaster. Okay, so looking at it, we've got a very, very strong uh, catch mechanism here at the back. I can feel it. It's got a very, very strong and beefy spring here. And that's obviously to keep the tension of this massive spring um, to lock it in place. Um, yeah. Other than that, there's not much to this blaster. So what has gone wrong on this blaster from what I understand is that this little black pin in the front has broken off and so the darts are not being stopped. Um, I'll look at that in another repair video. But okay, let's quickly assemble this so that you can see how to assemble your blaster. This is very, very easy. Spring goes in there, pushes in there. Little hole lines up with the 
a catch. I said very easy, but it is a bit finicky to go in. There we go. So that just presses into that. Then obviously you've got your magazine. That that spring goes around this post and simply just presses in. This goes around there. Let's check out something's wrong with the barrel alignment here. Check. Yeah, that, that's it. So the grey part must lock into the priming handle at the top. Spring goes in like that, like that, and this just simply locks in like that. So not a very complicated blaster guys, but I can see it is going to be extremely powerful. And this is the one to mod. I mean, between these two, I will use, I, I would suggest modding this one to take a magazine and alter the breech to take normal dolls instead of mega. And you will have a very powerful blaster. Okay guys, that concludes the internals video of the Mega Magnus. Um, very interesting blaster. Let me know if you found this useful. As I mentioned before, the internals video is just there for you. For If you open up your blaster and you don't know how to assemble it again, you can just come to this video and use it as a reference. Alright guys, see you next time. And please like and subscribe to this video. Cheers.